good to see you back on Being Amrita. We are back to our dips and spreads. So today it's time for a very, very healthy dip. And this is a great accompaniment, great as in very healthy accompaniment, not only for children, but for us adults as well. We all like munching on things, don't we? But then if you put those munchies in the dip that we're going to make just now, you're not going to feel so guilty after all. So let's make some hummus. Well, some people call it hummus, some call it hummus. As long as you know that it's made with chickpeas and a little bit of my twist, well, your job is done. So let's begin. This is really easy to make. As long as you have all your ingredients ready, you can do lots of fun in a very little time. Sabse pehle isme padega chickpeas, yani ki chane. So what I do is, while boiling the chickpeas, I add some salt, some bay leaf, and some garlic to it. The flavors really get infused inside the chickpeas and it really helps the hummus. So now what am I gonna do? I'm gonna add some more garlic while grinding it and then I'm going to add some lemon juice, some salt, extra virgin olive oil, a little bit of tahina paste. Now if you do not have this, it is very easy to make it at home itself. You just have to grind your sesame seeds, but after nicely roasting it. Just grind it and you'll have your tahina. So now I'm going to grind this entire mixture. Mm, looking lovely. done. Just going to take it out in a nice bright bowl. Nice creamy hummus. Beautiful. Now I'm going to take some jalapenos and chop them to garnish my classic hummus and give it a little spicy kick. Just roughly chop them. Last but not the least, some paprika powder or some colour. A lovely hummus is ready, but I'm going to do another one just immediately, just for you. Now I'm going to take a boiled beetroot, chop them into slightly smaller pieces and I'm going to add them to my chickpeas and then you watch what's going to happen. Of course, you've guessed what's going to happen. I'm going to get a beautiful colour, a lovely red colour and the magic is not going to end there because after that, I'm going to add some fresh orange juice to it as well. How healthy is that? Absolutely. Now, hummus is one thing which you can make as healthy as you want, as simple as you want and as exciting as you want. So come on, let's complete this one. Lovely, beautiful colour. Now if you find that it is too thick, you can add some of the water in which you soaked your chickpeas. That gives it a little more nutrition as well. But in this case, I will not need it because I'm adding some fresh orange juice. So I'm going to add some orange juice to this. And then my tahina paste. Be very careful with tahina, it can make it very bitter. So you can't put too much. My olive oil, lemon juice, some salt. Okay, so olive oil, especially extra virgin, is actually very good for you because it's got omega and it's really, really, it helps in improving your skin and the glow in your skin. So, do not shy away from it at all. All right, so my lovely beetroot and orange hummus is also ready. Let me just taste the seasoning. Mm. Yummy. I'm loving the sweet and sour and I'm loving the fact that it's such a beautiful color. And how's the color come? To the most nutritious vegetable. 
you can just store it in the fridge also you can keep it for about three to four days easily without it getting spoiled here i've got some chopped mint leaves mm, just smells divine and again beetroot and mint is a beautiful combination okay so if you like these recipes don't forget to like share and subscribe to being abrita and like i keep saying it's free 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 <laughs> see you soon <laughs>